Hey sports card fans, welcome back to Sky High Sports. And currently I am in a power outage because of this. So yeah, that's fun. So, the point of this video is not to show you how crazy the snow is, but it is to tell you about the sports card products that I think are very good. So, over here, on, over here, let me show you real quick. I have my sports card case. This is where I keep some of my favorite sports cards. Uh, I will change it out as I get better cards. But, one thing that you can notice about it is that the main two products in there, sports card products, are Panini Mosaic and Panini Playbook. Those are the two best products if you want to have a cheaper experience um, to buy. They're the best cards to buy. Reason number one, you can always pay off the money that you spend. And you can even get more. For instance, I got some um, Panini Mosaic. And I got two Jacob Eason rookie cards. Jacob Eason rookie cards are going up in value. You can sell a Jacob Eason. Um, before, a normal Jacob Eason card, you could sell for like $2. Now... Um, a normal one, not an NFL debut, um, on Mosaic, you can sell for about $15. So, it's a very good investment. Um, you can, and Panini Playbook, um, I especially, um, prefer to get hanger boxes of Panini Playbook. Um, because I don't really like to spend too much money on cards. I'm trying to save up money so I can do a bigger break. Um, but so I prefer to get hanger boxes of Panini Playbook and blaster boxes of Panini Mosaic. Um, Panini Playbook is where I got my very first Joe Burrow rookie card. As you can see right here in the bottom corner. I'll give you a better view. Um, in the bottom corner, we have a Joe Burrow rookie card, a Justin Jefferson orange parallel rookie card, and an AJ Terrell rookie card, and then you can see the Jacob Eason, uh, Brian Edwards, reactive orange rookie card, another Jacob Eason NFL debut, and a Zach Moss rookie card. Then above, you have Javon Kenlaw, Jonathan Taylor, Anthony McFarland Jr., Jalen Rieger, Jake Fromm, Devin Duvernay, and on and on and on. I also kind of like to get a couple packs of Panini Prism once in a while. I got a KJ Hamler right out of that. So, got like a $5 card. Okay. Um, but so why you should get these cards is because they're really cost efficient, they save you money, and you can make money easily. You don't have to worry if you spent too much money on it, because you didn't. Because you know that you are going to get all the money that you spent paid off. So, again, Panini Playbook and Panini Mosaic are the best for sports card collecting. I have some playbook cards right here. I have a Kyle Rudolph Captains. Another reason I like this is because of the, of the design. I have a David Montgomery Blitz. Not very a fan of those uniforms though. A uh, Marlon Davidson rookie card. AJ Terrell got two. Well, I shouldn't talk about the Falcons. 
got LaMichael P. Ryan next up. And I got Denzel Mims, who played for Baylor. And he was a star wide receiver for Baylor. I actually think he should have been a higher overall pick. Got Chris Carson, Nikhil Harry. Uh, oh, yeah, those, that Chris Carson and the Nikhil Harry were orange parallels. And then uh, Drew Brees, orange parallel. Uh, Jeff Okuda, Ricky Card. I want to see that, definitely. Uh, and Antonio Gibson, Ricky Card. Also want to see that. Devin Bush. Aaron Rodgers, I call him the A-Rod of football, uh, A.J. Brown, in the back right there, um, we have Saquon Barkley, um, Jimmy Garoppolo, the man who could have been, Jared Stidham, Alvin Kamara, tied for the most rushing touchdowns in a game. Ben Roethlisberger, Big Ben. Ryan Kerrigan. Ryan Kerrigan is a very underrated player. And a whole bunch of different guys. I'll see you next time on Sky High Sports. Remember, Panini Mosaic and Panini Playbook. Thank you guys. I'll see you later.